Hello everybody, Bill Harrison here with Harden Power Systems. Wanted to introduce you to a, uh, a new device for us. Some of you might be familiar with our Batpack products. Um, these are uh, very simple, straightforward devices that are meant to be attached to uh, common uh, uh, batteries. Um, this is an RBC2 size. This is an RBC4 size. Um, but really, these these uh, these solve uh, some problems as far as being able to be attached to a common battery and give you a fused connection and a voltmeter, um, just uh, more control over the power and uh, a little safer way to use it. Um, very convenient and. Uh, uh, one of the things that, that came out of a, a, a recent discussions, um, uh, we're blessed with some good relationships with the military, and they uh, have expressed a, a, a need to be able to push USB power and 12 volt sockets um, in the field uh, using a battery that they already uh, use a lot of. Now, <clears throat> I'm guessing that a lot of you folks are not familiar with this battery. Um, here's one in the package and these are frankly amazing um, it's a lithium sulfur dioxide um, it is uh, believe it or not 15 amp hours and this thing is light I mean this is a very impressive battery but like with with most things you pay for that privilege this thing is uh, they go for about hundred and twenty dollars a piece and they are not rechargeable this is a, a throwaway battery um, but it is awesome. I mean, you hold it in your hand and you're very impressed with how light it is and how much power is represented here. Um, so, in any case, uh, that battery, the BA5590, is in wide use in the military, primarily in communications and small electronics, but they use the heck out of it. Um, but what they can't do with it is power anything USB or plug in a cigarette socket or have any idea how much energy is left in that battery. So one of the neat things we were able to do was to come up with uh, a bat pack that straps to the battery just like our others do. It does have a USB out and that's, a, that's pushing the full 3 amps, that's a strong USB port. It does have a, a standard automotive style cigarette type outlet. And it's able to select between the two internal batteries. One of the unique things about the 5590 is, is that it's actually composed of, of, of two banks. There's two 12 volt uh, batteries in this case. Um, and since you can access them independently, we were able to incorporate a three position switch that allows you to switch between the two banks. Uh, and that can be real useful if you're relying on that power because obviously you could for example run on bank one for a period of time say until it's dead and then switch over to bank two and at least you'd know that you are exactly half of your total energy available um, <clears throat> now obviously this has a, a meter incorporated and uh, especially since it's military uh, and their light signature issues um, this uh, this latching push button toggles on and off the voltmeter um, without affecting uh, performance um, and just like our other backpacks, it's just a, a simple matter of, uh, of Velcro and unplugging. And you've got a real small, very rugged, lightweight solution that lets our men and women that are serving us um, have better access to power. And, and we are going to go ahead and put this up on the website. I'm not necessarily anticipating many civilian sales, um, but at least our, uh, our, uh, our dot .gov purchasers, if they're not buying a lot of them at any given time, they could, they could just uh, hit the website. And, uh, and that website would be portableuniversalpower.com. I really appreciate your time, everybody. This is Bill Harrison with Harden Power Systems. Take care.